Do you want to send nice looking emails using Power Automate? If you've never done this before, you might encounter a few gotchas. I'm going to show you an easy way of doing it correctly and avoid common mistakes. First, navigate to the following URL to get a pre created email template. Next, copy contents of the email HTML file to clipboard. Next, Navigate to the htmlemail.io website, paste the copied HTML here. As you can see, you can preview your email both in desktop and mobile mode. Now you can start modifying your email according to your needs. Some email clients strip out head and style tags from emails. So it's best to have your CSS written inline within your markup. Writing inline CSS is time consuming and repetitive. So it's best to use a conversion tool called CSS Inliner to automatically inline your email's CSS. This page automatically generates an email friendly version of HTML that's ready to be sent. Once you're done, Click on Copy to get this inline version of HTML. If your email contains any images, I recommend first to compress them using the tinypng.com website. Then convert the compressed image to a special format called Base64. This is very important to make sure images in your emails are always rendered in all email agents. So we'll navigate to the base64image.de website and upload an image. Copy the resulting base64 string. As you'll see, we can use base64 strings in place of hyperlinks like so. The main advantage of using Base64 with images is that your emails will always render correctly. Now, open your Power Automate flow and add a Compose action. Paste the inlined email HTML into this action. Next, Create a send email action and refer to the compose action in a body property. I recommend doing it this way to avoid performance issues during the flow editing. And don't forget to specify a shared mailbox in a send as field. Using a shared mailbox looks very professional. Do you have any other tips and tricks on sending emails using Power Automate? Let me know in a comment section.